Hi, Anton. Hello. So what's your perspective on the global trends of the games industry and what are the opportunities you believe are worth paying attention to? And how do you think this will impact companies' future strategy? Sure, thank you. Yeah, I think a lot of things uh, is changing right now. Uh, game developers around the world become more bigger and bigger and uh, their ambitions are becoming bigger as well. And so this is why we see more and more game developers having cross-platform opportunities or cross-platform clients. Um, and uh, this is exactly the reason why there is um, uh, the process of um, Epic Games against uh, Apple and Google is going on right now. And so mobile game developers are going into the web and basically want to have a cross-platform experience for all, all of their users. And I think this is the biggest trend for the last two years and it's ongoing right now. Another big trend is very much uh, the root cause of that is the size of the organizations and uh, the technological advancements of uh, servers around the world and cloud services in particular. So we see that many game developers start to use cloud technology to start the game or at least to have a, a glint, glimpse of of the game to the consumers so i think these two main themes for the entertainment in general and for exola as well so the ability to sell your items digital items and games outside of major platforms so basically be um, a cross-platform game developer and the second one is the cloud gaming be able to um, show your game, your experience that you're selling to end users immediately without downloading any additional content, without waiting any additional time. As we know that the company chose to focus on international game services, why and what was the original intention? So we started many, many years ago in Russia and um, the Russian market wasn't big enough for us. I think this is the main reason, number one. We always thought that we would be a much bigger company and for that the market is supposed to be much bigger. Another reason is that solving one country, I would say, too simple um, and uh, not really helpful to the majority of the game developers as they sell their games worldwide. And so this is why we decided that we would go, we would expand to other regions. And we started first with Western market, and then we catched up with uh, Asian market. So basically, there is more value at Exola and what we do if we have a lot of countries. Because every country is unique. They have their own uh, problems and challenges some of them having challenging tax regulations, some of them have regulations for minors, some of them um, have specific opinion on what kind of content can be distributed to the end users. And so we want to aggregate all that knowledge from all the countries and uh, give it to game developers so that they, they can publish their game worldwide basically in no time, like two weeks, three weeks. You mentioned a lot of changes happening in this industry and AI technology is actually impacting the tech industry. So my last question is, how would you view the opportunities and challenges that AI technology might bring to the international service game? Industry? Yeah, I think um, it very much relates to the first question, uh, which we started with the size of the companies, gaming companies. Um, I think we might see uh, an increased pace of delivery of the content for major um, game developers around the world. Plus, smaller game developers would be able to deliver more in a shorter period of time just because of AI, just because you can generate a lot of assets right now, just because you don't need a lot of stuff, a lot of people with specific skills. Some of those can be replaced by, by AI. And uh, for companies like ours that are basically trying to democratize the market to the, to the games uh, in the world, um, I think we would be just more effective in uh, providing our services to game developers. It might be 
based on SLA that we have with customers. So how fast we reply, how many people we actually need, how much communication we need internally to deliver something to the customer. Um, AI provides so much automation, it will definitely have an impact into our internal capabilities. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello 我们现在从我一个人现在发展到这个现在有几十位员工您刚刚提到在这三年的时间原来是没有收入的艾克索拉作为一个芬泰公司有一个客户在两个月后国内的游戏市场比较饱和游戏合规这第一个第二个呢帮助我们自己的客户在所在地区把相关的这个税务给交了
以及后未来的潜在风险。